Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I really want to wear these pants in public. You should. But I don't have any pockets. Oh. I put on a hoodie, but it's kind of warm today. Yeah. We might hit 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. I'll be back in a bit. Got to head off to a meeting. I'm an advisor for a local startup, and I figured out a solution for how to carry these things with me. Except for the coffee mug. I'm done with the coffee for the day. Vest! <laughs> Gotta tell you, this feels nice. Come on, everybody. Let's start a trend. Pajamas in public. What? I'm not insane. What's insane is wearing a tie. We got a wacky wobbler Jack Skellington from Blake Smith, who's been following me ever since the days of tech TV. Blake wonders if I'm ever going to do anything with the old team, and the answer is, I don't know. But I'm glad that Blake's a patron, because one of the patron goals is to be able to reboot Call for Help. We're still probably a few years away from being remotely able to do that. You gonna be able to join me for the live stream today? Oh, you look cute. Okay, I won't show you yet, but she looks cute. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. <laughs> you normally look cute, by the way. I'm not saying that you are looking cute differently than when you look cute normally. I'm, I'm just remarking on what you're wearing now in respect to the rest of your cuteness. That's not a cloud. That's smoke. It's where the wildfires are currently happening in Washington state. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I thought you were in the bedroom. I didn't realize you were there. Yeah. It's okay. Carry on. <laughs> See, everybody? Proof. Cuteness. Oh, my dress. Do you remember when you wore this dress? <laughs> oh, this is my dress? Yeah. <laughs> From that vlog. You know, after that point, I think our likes declined steadily to the point where they're at now. Aww. So wearing a dress was a bad idea. Or maybe you need to wear it again. Uh, okay, should we issue another challenge then? Yeah. What's the number? Um, if we get a thousand likes. <laughs> Which, I know that sounds funny. <laughs> it's It's been a challenge this summer. No, okay, we'll go this far. Okay. For all the vlogs in the month of July, a thousand. And we switch outfits. Um, you eat a spoonful of corn. I've, no. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> okay, one corn kernel. Wait, I thought we were talking about me wearing a dress. What, what, what are you like pushing this into? <laughs> oh, it would be so good. No, 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 me in a dress? You in a dress? I, I'm, I'm thinking that's what will do it. I don't, I don't really oh, know. Oh, you wanna wear? A dress. I don't want to wear a dress, I'm just saying it's like the challenge. <laughs> okay, you get to wear one of my dresses. Wait, won't that get us in trouble? Didn't YouTube like kind of smack down? Well, we're not really giving anything away. We're just wondering if you guys still appreciate the things that we're doing. That's all. It's a great way of showing it. Yeah. That's what it's there for. Like, you can dance around in this dress. Probably won't. <laughs> Maybe that's why I subconsciously liked it earlier when I saw it. I just feel like I've bonded with your clothes. Yeah. I'm very glad to see you're drinking out of the Yoda mug. And I didn't even have to encourage you. Mm, see. 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 Okay, so how many stamps for in-town mail? Cheese. Cheese? You said queso. You did? Uh-huh. Oh, I said K. So. so. <laughs> okay, so, as we continue, or really begin, to child-proof our home, we'll be able to do so in a geeky fashion, thanks to Peter Hutchinson. These are magnetic locks. We've got a scheduled appointment with our midwife this evening, and I guess we're going to be seeing her on a more frequent basis as we approach the birth date, which should be September 1st. We don't know. The baby could decide to come whenever. There's mommy. It's not going to happen tonight, is it? No. The birth? Yeah. No. Okay. Could you time it in the middle of the day so we're both awake? Um, I'd like to. 
Isn't that something you can control? I don't think so. But I've never gone into labor, so I don't know. And neither do I. <laughs> And unfortunately, this is not a question you can ask a search engine. I've tried. <laughs> Do we need to start preparing an overnight bag? You know, the thing that we have to grab if you happen to want to start giving birth in the middle of the night? Yes. So we're going to need emergency supplies of beef jerky and whatever else goes in an overnight bag. Yeah, I think they're gonna tell us. Maybe today. Tell us or yell at us? tell us but you can ask about your beef jerky if you want well, i don't need to ask about that that's just a given <laughs> are we planning on making placenta jerky weren't we supposed to have watched some classes online or something i think we're gonna do it for our friday night date night from everything i've read this is going to become the norm i think we're done with fun we're supposed to be grown up now. Can we be the fun parents? We can. All right, let's shoot for that then. We want all the kids who watch us on YouTube to go, why can't my mom and dad be just like Chris and Diana Perillo? <laughs> Silly, stupid, and sarcastic. When are you going to be pregnant enough for us to park in the pregnant woman zone? They have these special parking spots specifically for people like Diana. And I didn't mean that to <laughs> slam you, I mean in your condition with the whole baby in you thing. Baby, 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 baby. I don't know. There's a guy holding his girlfriend's purse. Could be his wife. Well, we don't know if it's his or not. No, I'm not going to hold your purse. Ask him. Diana's about to undergo a strep test, but instead of swabbing her throat, they're going to not swab her throat. <laughs> they have to do it differently. And if you do gag, they're doing it really, really incorrectly. <laughs> That's why I wore a dress. I'm also glad you wore the napkin. <laughs> I'm next. <laughs> Where's the pink Boba Fett? You know, I've always wondered if you could use hand sanitizer on other parts of your body. Yeah. Ew, like where? Your foot? No. Where were you thinking? <laughs> They probably have to put hand on those sanitizer stations so that people don't put it in their mouth. And you know those people exist, mm -hmm. but not for long. It's called natural selection. <laughs> Everything hurts. Sometimes. This is the probe they're going to use, but it's been sanitized for your protection. <laughs> I think that's a light. Oh. Well, yeah, so they can see. Why are you putting it in my face? <laughs> Stop it. You're getting in trouble. Get it kicked out. <laughs> Is baby active for you? Yes, it tends to be active in, like, small, like, in the morning and at night. Mm -hmm. And then very little during the day. Do you think you get at least 10 kicks and punches in a day? Yeah, yeah, I do. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So at this stage of pregnancy, you want to really pay attention to that and make sure you get at least 10 kicks and punches in a day. This line right here is the divider between the two hemispheres of the brain, the corpus callosum. So that's the baby's skull? That's the skull. Okay, so it's positioned where it's supposed so to be. So the baby's head down where it should yeah. be. Yeah. Oh, I just locked the car. Was it unlocked before? Oh, okay. I don't know. Kind of freaked out right now. Having a baby's kind of freaky. <laughs> You know, for a natural process, your body's going to be going crazy. I know. Starting by getting into the car. Our next challenge is to agree upon a car seat. <laughs> I already have it picked out. Mm -hmm. It's one that works for a newborn all the way up until they don't need a car seat anymore. The midwife said, your body is going to be turning itself inside out. <laughs> and you won't be able to walk or talk. <laughs> from the pain. 
It's going to be very painful. Proceed about two miles. I'm paraphrasing here. The baby wanted Mediterranean, and so we got some dolma, a gyro, some hummus, and American potato chips. Yum, I've never tried this one. You've had a gyro before. Yeah, but this one's chicken, and it looks different. Because <laughs> it's chicken. You don't want your chicken to look like beef, ever. Or vice versa. Well, I thought I was taking the first <laughs> bite. I can't eat this baba ganoush. Why? Because it's got a face. It's staring back at me. <laughs> the hummus has a face, too. Oh, I like it. It's got a unibrow. <laughs> dun, 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 beach towel, dun, 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 dun. You just missed it, Wicket. And Diana. And Pixie. I live streamed me editing the vlog, the very one you're watching right now. We hope you like today's effort and we'll see you tomorrow.